Hey guys, this is my first what I ate today video, so without further ado, let's get started. First thing I like to have in the morning is a half a liter of water, and sometimes I'll have that with a lemon. This is me trying to gracefully roll a lemon onto the table, but as you can see, it's not really working. <laughs> 30 minutes later, for breakfast, I decided to make myself a smoothie bowl, so I just peeled open a banana, and I had a banana mango orange smoothie. For my oranges, I like to cut off both ends and then peel off the skin. Then I like to cut the orange into slices and I do this just so that I can check to see if there are any seeds that I need to take out from the orange slices before I toss the entire thing into the blender. So for the mango I actually like to use an apple peeler to peel off the skin. Then I just like to dice up the mangoes for my smoothie. Then I like to pour in some almond milk around a fourth of a cup to half a cup just to make it easier on the blender. On top of my smoothie bowls, I typically like to add granola. Lately, I've been using Nature Path's pumpkin flax granola, and I have to say it's probably my favorite thus far. I also like to add on some hemp seeds just for the crunch of it. So for lunch I had a really simple meal of three apples and two pears and here I'm just slicing up the apples. These are Granny Smith apples and lately I've been having a lot of Granny Smith apples and I just love them.
this lunch was really simple and delicious, and towards the end I decided to add in some almond butter. So for my sweet potatoes, I like to first stab them with a fork, and then I like to bake them in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for around one hour or so. So for dinner, I decided to make a really simple tomato sauce, so I first chopped up all my veggies and I poured in a little bit of olive oil and then sauteed up some onions and garlic first. Next, I tossed in my diced celery and carrots and I sauteed them for around five to six minutes. Lastly, I threw in two diced tomatoes and then I seasoned with a little bit of salt and pepper and put on a lid to let the entire sauce simmer for around five to 10 minutes. After everything was given a chance to sort of melt together, I added in some basil just as a finishing touch. Once the sauce was finished cooking, it was time for me to assemble my dinner. I started off on a bed of romaine lettuce, which I love. On top of my bed of romaine lettuce, I had some quinoa, and actually this was a blend of three different types of grains, but nonetheless, it's still really good. And so I had that with my tomato sauce on top, and dinner was ready. After dinner, I had this um, cereal. I actually went to the grocery store today, and I found this in the aisle, and I decided to give it a try. It doesn't really have that much flavor, but I really like the texture of it, so I think I'll start adding that to my smoothie bowls in the morning now. This is what I had today, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up, and also please leave me comments in the section below of what other types of videos you guys would like to see. Thank you guys so much for watching.